Good afternoon. I want to share with you today from the 18th chapter of the Gospel according to Luke, verses 10 through 14. Let us listen for the word of God. It says, two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself. God, I thank you that I'm not like others, people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, and even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing some distance away, was even unwilling to lift up his eyes to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went to this house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. Let's look at this text and try to see what God is seeking to communicate to us today. If you will notice, at the beginning of the text, it talks about two men who went up into the temple to pray. And it says that the Pharisee was the one who stood up and was praying this to himself. God, I thank you that I'm not like everybody else. That's basically what he's saying. I thank you, God, that I'm not like everybody else. I'm not a sinner. At least I try not to sin. I pay my tithes. I give my offerings. I do all those things, God, that should be pleasing in your sight. But the mistake that the Pharisee made is that he exalted himself. He was not like the tax collector who was an humble man beating on his chest and was able to say, Lord, my God, have mercy on me for I am a sinner. He recognized that it was necessary for him to admit above everything else that he needed the mercy and the grace of God in his life. For he indeed was a sinner. He was indeed saved by the grace of God. He was indeed blessed that God would look on him with eyes of mercy, would forgive his sins, and that God would continue to bless him. Be merciful unto me, O God, for I mess up sometimes. I do this sometimes. But I'm acknowledging as I stand before your presence, as humble as I know how to be, that I am thankful for your grace and your mercy. And just for a subject, I'd like to use this thought. Staying plugged in to the power source. Sometimes it's necessary, those of us who are walking on this Christian journey, to recognize our need and our dependence on God. There's a song that my grandfather taught me some years ago where he said, the word said, I am so grateful that I have a Christ in my life. What would my life be without him? It would be weary, worn, and sad. That's why I'm grateful truly, truly grateful that I have Christ in my life. And so the first place we need to start, my brothers and sisters, we need to recognize our need to be grateful and show gratitude to God for all that God has done for us. Yes, this has been a year, and I'm ever mindful of how God has continued to protect us, how God has continued to allow his grace and mercy to cover us so that we've been protected from the coronavirus. I'm also reminded of the need to not only be grateful for, I think about John 3.16, where God said, 
The word says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but they shall have everlasting life. Being grateful. How many of you out there today are grateful, grateful, appreciative, humbled by the fact that God always shows us and showers us with his mercy and his grace. And so, my brothers and sisters, in a simple type of thing, we need to always be plugged into the source. And one way to be plugged in is to recognize the need we have for gratitude. And then also, the second point is that we need to appreciate and be plugged into generosity. You know, the Bible says, do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. I often ask myself, what is the message that God wants me to get from these scriptures that he shows me? He wants me to remember that I need to be generous, generous that I need to do as the scriptures say, bring you all of your tithes into the storehouse and test me and try me and see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you shall not have room to receive. Oh, yes. We need to be grateful. We need to be generous. And we need to remember that without God, we are nothing. We can do nothing. It is only by God's grace and mercy and God's love and care for us that some of us, or most of us rather, are where we are today. And then also too, if we recognize the need for continued gratitude and generosity, we also need to be plugged in to God. You see what it said in that 14th verse. It says, I tell you that this man went to the house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. But the he but the he who humbles himself will be exalted. I tell you, this man went to the house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humble. But he who humbles himself will be exalted. God will show us his grace and mercy. Now, the danger also in this text is, is it says that the, the Pharisee actually thought God operated on a merit system, <laughs> a merit system, and thus he could put in, in man's debt through good works. The tax collector knew God was merciful and was worthy of trust. The tax collector knew that God was merciful and full and worthy of him trusting him. Maybe the tax collector had been through some things. Maybe he had struggled a little bit. Maybe he had lost his faith. Maybe sometimes his faith became weak. Maybe he was just a mess. But one thing I like about this text, uh, this scripture, is that when we are plugged into God, we realize it was God's grace and mercy that has kept us, God's grace and mercy that has brought us safely thus far. I often think of that song, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. What I'm saying to you, my brothers and my sisters, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this world full of chaos and trouble on every hand, 
that for those of us who are plugged into God and recognize God is a God of mercy, God is a God of grace, God is a God of love, and God is faithful. God is faithful, and God will never leave us nor forsake us. I pray today that all of us, all of us, will be plugged into God. And as we get ready for Easter, as we get ready for Ash Wednesday, as we look forward to the coming of the next season in our church, as we begin to celebrate Jesus' journey to the cross, that we will remember my brothers and sisters that it is God who has kept us. It is God who provides for us. It is God who loves us unconditionally. I, what else I learned was the tax collector had the perfect thought. He didn't try to give God a shopping list or a list of his accomplishments. He just simply said, God, be merciful unto me, for I am a sinner. I believe that requires the recognition that, God, I made some mistakes. God, I messed up. Sometimes I've acted in ways that were not pleasing to your sight. Sometimes I have not treated or loved my neighbor as myself. And it is only because of you, Lord God, that I am here today. In my tradition, the old saints would say, Lord, I thank you that you woke me up this morning and started me on my way. I thank you, Father God, that I'm clothed in my right mind. I thank you, Father God, for your grace and for your mercy in my life. I'm thankful, Father God, for all you have done for me through sending your son, Jesus Christ. But I'm also thankful, Father God, that not only, not only did Jesus go to the cross, but because he went to the cross, died for all of my sins, that I have a place in heaven. And God, I just give you the glory for that. I worship you. I magnify you. Lord, help me to not pray as the Pharisee prayed, but help me to be as the tax collector or the publican, to be thankful, grateful, generous, and plugged into you. Well, this is my message for today. Being plugged into God. Staying plugged into the power source. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For his steadfast love toward each and every one of us. Let us pray. Oh God, I help in ages past. I hope for years to come our shelter from the stormy blast in our eternal home. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to watch over your people, that you will remind us how loved we are by you. Like David, Father God, help us to realize that we too are the apple of your eye. And then I ask, Father God, as I close this out today, that you would help us, Father God, to always be grateful, to be generous in our giving, whatever we do, but also to remember that we must stay connected or plugged into you. May God bless you, may God keep you, and may God make his grace to shine upon you. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, who is indeed my Lord and my Savior. Amen.